Hi guys, Mantas here. Let me ask you a question. Are you using email marketing in your business? If so, stay tuned because I will show you how to test if your email records are properly configured. And this may significantly affect your email deliverability. By the way, if you first time on my channel watching first on my videos, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notifications bell. So I found this website where you can test how your email is delivered and if your records are correct. So I'm going to show you two examples where the same, my, the same email address where I'm sending from are not correct and the next one will be correct. First, I'm gonna log into my hosting account and I'm gonna send email from there, from cPanel. And the next one I'm gonna send from GetResponse. And this is my autoresponder I'm using. So let's go. Uh, first, when you come into this website, you will see only this kind of landing page. And uh, there is an email which is for testing and there is a button check your score so what you have to do you have to copy that address I'm gonna log in quickly to my hosting email on my hosting and I'm gonna write new message to that email address I'm gonna say let's say hi how are you and you, literally you could add any text you want so I'm probably gonna go or Ipsum something generic let's say I'm gonna copy this text I'm gonna add it to that email I'm gonna paste that in and I'm gonna send an email. Wait a couple of minutes or maybe a minute and when you think the email is sent already then you can check your score. And as you can see there is a problem. Consider yourself lucky if your email goes to an inbox. The score is 3 out of 10. And then it shows you what is the problem. You can view your message, spam assassin things you can improve and it shows me a problems. DKIM signed and DKIM is not signed. SPF fail, SPF hello pass, is DKIM, uh, DKIM invalid. You're not allowed to use one of your sender email addresses. That's because FPF, SPF sender policy framework is not configured properly. Okay, let's go to another test. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get another email address. I have to copy that and now I'm gonna go to my email autoresponder which should be configured properly. So what you need to do, you have to go to your list here and I'm gonna go here and I'm going to add contacts. I created this list specifically for testing. So email contact, let's say. I have permission to add this person to my list and add a contact. And contact is queen in queen for adding. Now what you can do, you can go to your uh, newsnet, newsletters and just resend one of the previous newsletters you got or you can write a new one. So I'm gonna go now to my email marketing newsletters and I'm gonna reuse it. I'm gonna click next. And we can see here a spam score as well. I love this feature in GetResponse where it shows spam score. Uh, message properly signed with DKIM and shows me that phrases, uh, text, 
is not not very good because it got blacklisted words in it. All right, so let's go to the next step. And as you know, guys, I have a blog post specifically about spam words in email marketing. I have got about email marketing strategy and there are loads of content on my blog if you're interested in email marketing. So please check it out. I'm going to leave the link to this email tester and uh, links to my some of my blog posts in the description. So now I'm going to send that message. As you can see, get response shows the email is sent already. So let's check it out. And here it is. The score is 9.9 .9 out of 10. And my email, all email records are configured properly. Like DKIM, DMRAC, and SPF. So if you have deliverability problems, guys, go and check it out this tool. This might help you identify the problems. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Leave your comments in the comment section and I will talk to you soon. Cheers.